ready for a big, exciting Sunday? Yeah. Let's open this puppy up. Let's hope I grab the right key. Yeah. Awesome. Oh. Oh. Up in one shot. <laughs> we did good. There goes the alarm. We have some super tramp. Super pitcher. Double. Taylor Swift. Tons of cool stuff. I hope these ladies realize how hard my job actually is. They did a terrific job on tonight's video for you. I've been incapacitated doing other things. But, give this video a thumbs up. Like it. Subscribe. Do all that other stuff. Wiggle your butt. Shake your hips. Put your right foot in. Even though that's really my left foot. Don't ask. So we were looking through the buyback that we just did yesterday and found Argent in deep. Have you ever listened to an Argent record before? No. I think it's either grunge, possibly hard rock, possibly um, Christian rock. Okay. <laughs> well, we've had a lot of Christian rock lately, right? Well, it's a God save rock, rock and roll to you. Ah, but it's only money part one and two. Hmm, Christmas for the free. Okay, so I can go with that could possibly be Christian rock. Yeah, Yeah. or maybe, possibly grunge. Maybe. It's giving me Nirvana vibes. <laughs> well, Nirvana probably, you know, said to themselves, what would make a really cool cover? Well, let's put a baby in the water instead of a guy, and there's another guy swimming behind him. And now they're attacking each other. <laughs> <laughs> they're sharks. Baby shark, do 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 do. So maybe it's pop. Nah. No. No. But it's a gatefold, and it's not a very very newer one, I don't think. So that means it's probably the seventies. So we're going to listen to Argent for the first time because neither one of us has ever listened, and we're going to see what we think, right? Mm -hmm. So what are we doing today? We are reviewing Argent in deep. Ah, that is a beautiful front cover. Yes. So personally, I thought it was going to sound kind of like Nirvana or possibly Christian rock. Reason being is because mentions Christmas and because God gave rock and roll to you, which was my favorite song. But it really, it really, I, I was half right. It wasn't grunge at all. I was disappointed in, in that. But grunge didn't come out until the 90s, and there's no way that record is from 1990. Well, I guess, because they're in a pool, and I thought of the cover of Nevermind. So, yeah, that's what I well, thought. Well, maybe that's where they got the idea for Nevermind from. But this is what the cover looks like. Right. That's what the back looks like. Okay. And he looks like he is attacking him. He's diving. Does He's matter? Right, yeah. He's attacking? Okay. <laughs> Can we see the gatefold? Yes. Ooh. And Those are people. some really good black and white pictures. Yeah. Great, okay. Then the record looks like it's on Epic Records. Because it's epic. Yes. Awesome. But my favorite song on the album was God Gave Rock and Roll to You. I thought the song was great. It sounds a little bit like the Beatles. Just, just a little bit. The song, who was it? Christmas for the Free. It sounded like John Lennon. Yeah, it sounded like exactly like John Lennon yes. Imagine. So if they're, if they're going to claim my record was... Secretly the Beatles. Why don't you hold the record up while we're talking about it so that we, we have points of reference. Turn, turn it around so we can see the track listing again. Okay? Good. Because, see, obviously, God Gave Rock and Roll to You, that really did sound a lot like the Beatles. Yes, it did. Yes. And then, it's what did you think of It's Only Money Part 1 and Part 2? I really liked it. I believe I liked Part 1 more than Part 2. It kind of morphed together, though. Mm -hmm. There wasn't too much of a break in between the two. So they could have just made it one song, but I wonder if they did it because the song was long. If they did it just because of that. Well, you know, Be Glad, the first song on the second side, was over eight minutes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So what kind of music did you think it was? Other than the one song sounded like the Beatles and the other song well, sounded I, I like it's John Lennon. Rock. Okay. Yeah. No. It's, it's progressive rock and classic rock. Okay. Okay. No. I that's what they say it is. Yeah, I don't think so. 
I heard some a lot of progressive. I heard a lot of symphonic. Yeah, progressive. There's definitely some of that symphonic too, because I think that there was a triangle in it. Mm-hmm. And the song God Gave Rock and Roll to You, I think that was probably their most popular song off this album. Mm-hmm. Because I swear I've heard I, I've heard it before. And it's only money part one and part two. Mm -hmm. I felt that had like a very rock and roll beat underneath it. Yeah. Be glad was a good song. So was losing, losing hold. That that song wasn't too great, but it, it was still a pretty See, good. Song. Losing hold was my least favorite song. I wouldn't say it's my least favorite. I think Rosie probably was. That one was a bit too slow for my liking. Aliens. <laughs> okay. You just see what I just. Said. No, I was making sure that the alien sign. But no, it's it's still uh, hanging up. So that that wasn't what just happened. I'll explain to you what happened after. Okay. <laughs> okay. Stop with the rocking. Okay. So, losing hold was the first song on the album that was by Rod Argent mm -hmm. and Chris White. Okay. The first three songs were by Russ Ballard. That's cool. And personally, I did not think that that was a good introduction into their songwriting because i yeah. did not enjoy that song at all see i, I like the album it definitely wasn't a star record side a was more of you could play it possibly but only like half the first side it's something that's more of an at-home record mm -hmm. for something you listen to personally personally this is something i would own i liked it it was just one or two songs that I wasn't as big of a fan of but it was pretty good so what do you give it one out of ten i give it a six a six yeah, I, I think I'm there. I think I'm there at about like a, a five, between a five and a six. Yeah. You know, it's not something that I listen to every day. It's not something I particularly want to own, but I don't hate it. It's something I would own because it's pretty good. I'd listen to it every once in a while. It's not an everyday record, but it's definitely not a bad record. Oh, and it was kind of weird, too, how in Be Glad mm -hmm. and how I mentioned it was an eight minute song. Yeah. So like it had this clashing piano thing going on. Yeah, I heard and that. And then it had really good piano work. And then all of a sudden it started to sound like Joy to the World. Yeah. Did, did you hear Joy to yeah, the World yeah, underneath I heard that. it? Yeah. I was sing I was singing Joy to the World going, Am I really hearing this? Yeah. So that that was that was a little weird. I, like, I really think it was Christian rock. It was just it was that genre. But if they want to claim it's something different, that's all yeah, right. Yeah, no, they're but. saying it's not Christian rock. Maybe they just, you know, didn't want to be denounced by evangelical preachers. Maybe. Like Laurie Norman. Yep. Okay. So, do you want to hear some facts? Yes, I do. Argent is an English rock band that formed in 1969. Okay. They had three UK top 40 singles in so the UK. Were, so they were bigger in the UK. Yeah, they were. Well, they were an English rock band. They were much bigger oh, okay. in the UK. Um, hold... Your Head Up was number five in the UK and in the US on oh. the US Top 100. What song? Hold Your Head Up. It was okay. not it on, on this. No, it was not on that album. And then Tragedy was number four in the UK and God Gave Rock and Roll to You was number 18. See, I swear I've heard that song before. There was you have. Or... You have. Because Kiss redid God Gave Rock and Roll to You as okay. God Gave Rock and Roll to You 2. And it was in the credits of Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Okay. So you have heard that song before, but not exactly. Not exactly, but close. So there's one of my lovely facts for In Deep, since you rushed me. So now do you want to hear some In Deep facts? Sure. <laughs> um, in Deep was released in 1973. As I said, it's progressive rock and classic rock. Mm -hmm. And um, it spent one week at number 49 in 1973 in the UK. Okay, cool. And Russ Ballard wrote four of the songs, and Rod Argent and Chris White wrote the other four. So that was pretty cool that it was like half and half. Yeah, but I think that's good. So please leave us a comment. Let us know what you think of Argent in Deep and what you thought of our review. I've got something that I'm really excited to show you. Okay. Okay? How many copies of this album have we sold? Don't look at the price tag. How many copies of this album have we sold? Nah, not many. Kind of a lot. Depends on the day. I know, but over the course of doing this for years and years, how many copies of the album have we sold? A lot. Yeah, and you know how we keep talking about how prices of vinyl are going up? Yep. It used to be two ninety nine, four ninety nine. Did you see? Thirteen ninety nine. Thirteen ninety nine. Can you believe that? Nineteen eighty eight dance pop. Paula Abdul is now thirteen ninety nine. Isn't crazy. that? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Ridiculous. So weird how prices are fluctuating right now. 
Anything else you've seen that you're like, holy moly? Fleetwood Mac and also the price of my Bikini Kill record. Yeah. Up. And how, was that an original or a reissue? R original. Oh, cool. We got to be with the next Just Price Final Records. And they're awesome. And they're so awesome. Do you know why they're so awesome? Why are they so awesome? Because I got the kinks. Yeah? Yeah, I got the kinks. Lola versus Power Man and Money Go Round. Part one. Yeah? Yeah, from 1970. It's really cool. Did you know that the kinks were part of the British invasion? That's cool. For like five seconds. Then they got a touring band because the brother, the Davies brothers wouldn't stop yeah. fighting. Oh, wow. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. It's like, yeah, we're going to tour. No, you can't tour. Hey, there's me. Because you keep fighting. <laughs> and we've got Led Zeppelin, Physical Graffiti, my favorite Led Zeppelin. Another Led Zeppelin. David Bowie. The Pixies. This is a 2004 180 gram reissue. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I keep having it too close to my face. Neil Young. <laughs> Paul Abdul, straight up now tell me, is it going to be you and me forever? Oh, oh, oh. Why do you keep going so far away? Because I try not to hold it so close to my face. White Snake, <laughs> Patty Smith Group. I like that one. I know, me too. Wishbone Ash, Argus, Paul Hardcastle, and this one is an import from Canada. Awesome. Canada. Psychedelic Furs, The Turtles, made turtle soup. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Deep wings. <laughs> Fast ways. Godfathers. This is a gold stamp promo. The best of the move. Heart. Robert Palmer. And this one is also an import from Canada. Cool. Python Lee Jackson. Sammy Hagar. The triumph from yesterday. Yeah. The triumph that we reviewed. That was so awesome. It was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend. Peter Gabriel Melty Face. Woo! And then Peter Gabriel Sanctuary? With no face. No face. Oh, wait. Well, no, oh, never like, mind. We'd call it like Totem. Ah. Or something, you know? Because it looks like it's got part of a totem pole. Cool. Redbone. <laughs> Bob Seeger. And there's two. So you can go. Wiki, wiki, woo! <laughs> Did you look in the mirror? Yeah. Bob Seeger. Oh! Bone. And they're alive! They're alive! <laughs> <laughs> the rascals do you know how hard it is to find rascal fun facts yeah did you i tried it? so hard okay and i figured it couldn't be too hard i wasn't sure if it was the young rascals because i believe that was a band but it might have just been an album i'm not too sure about that one but yeah the rascals very hard to find facts on so i ain't get any <laughs> i tried so, the fun fact about the rascals is there are no fun facts there are fun facts there's just no fun facts Okay, well, you know, the kinks, we tried to do the kinks fun facts like two years ago. Yeah. And all the facts were so boring, so you had to twist them. Yeah. The one guy's a hero because his wife got mugged and he chased the mugger down and he got shot in the butt. So he's a hero. Nice. See? All right, fair Just enough. twist it. Find some rascals facts and twist them. Island of Real. I wonder what that means. Joe Wall. Oh, little gold stand promo. You know how I know that? It's right there. <laughs> Robert Plant is an import from Canada. There's a lot of imports from Canada. Yeah. In this box. Yeah. Cool. Peter Frampton. Another Peter Frampton. Alice Cooper. The Alice Cooper Show. Van Morrison. Ted Nugent. Is he live? He, looks he live. always looks like he's live. Oh, he just looks awesome. He just it always looks awesome. Okay. Fair yeah, enough. no nonsense approach. No, nope, doesn't say anything about being live. Okay. Sorry. Cool. Best of Pro Call Harem. Bachman Turner Overdrive, Pete Townsend, Billy Joel, ELO, Jethro Tull. Surprisingly, ELO, like, I didn't think I'd like ELO. Uh-huh. Like, I, it was just in my head, I didn't think I'd like them. They have that one song, I think it's called Mr. Blue Sky. It's so good. I listened to a few of the other th songs. They're pretty good. So maybe you shouldn't judge a record by its cover. It wasn't even by its cover. It was just by its name. I was just, I was expecting it to be more, um... Like or orchestra, I guess. Symphonic rock? Yeah, more like that. And it's pretty good, I gotta say. Okay. Jethro Tull. Another Jethro Tull. Bruce Springsteen. Jersey. Marshall Soccer Band. <laughs> Tyrone Grant. <laughs> Utopia. 
the worst of Jefferson, <laughs> Jefferson's <laughs> airplane. And we've got another one. So you can go, Wiki Wiki Wait, Woo. Did I just see an album? Yes. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, see? Because, see, this one has a gatefold, which okay. is actually really cool. Yeah, it is. Oh, and cool. this one doesn't. Yeah, I don't think the cameraman does this. I have the same phone as you. This is so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Jefferson Starship, Bruce Hornsby, uh, Chris Christian, Adam Ant. Do you know where the Adam Ant section is? No, at? I don't. Because I kept not being able to find it again. Uh, and I even have to call you for backup. <laughs> Tommy, <laughs> Tommy James and the Shondells, Ario Speedwagon, Billy Squire, Asia, Gary Merrick and the Figures, Rock Pile. Flash in the pan. Man, I see where the camera gets it from. It's a whole different personality back here. We had a dude call from Missouri today. So, yeah. And he asked if the cameraman, a.k.a. my dad, was like that a lot. Like, in real life, if he was actually like that. And I was like, well, kind of. He just, when we put on the camera, he becomes like a WWE, like, announcer. I'm understanding. I'm never this loud or talkative. <laughs> I'm understanding. And yes, he is like that in person too. Let's get this done. Come on. We got I, I said so Craig. That's what he does. <laughs> Three Dog Night, The Raspberries, Amy Grant in concert. She was that, that means she They were live. They were live. Wait. Oh, yeah, she was live. <laughs> outlaws and another Outlaws, Little River Band, Backstage Pass. Guess what? What? Was that live too? It was recorded in Australia. Cool. Yeah. I was pretty excited. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Michael Stanley Band, Private Lightning, which I really thought was going to be hard rock. It's pop rock. Yeah. That was a little... Yep, yeah. I know what you mean. Jay Giles Band. Love stinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven Wolf Gold, which is a horrible record. Why? Or is it, or is it just, just because... Oh, oh, oh. There's supposed to be a thing here, but it's perforated, so it rips off because they wanted, they wanted the record to fall out and you have to buy a new one. So That's smart. MCA Records. Oh. Moody Blues. Oh, whoa, 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 and I have a fun fact. What's Did that? you know they were inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame 2018? I didn't even know they were in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. They were able to go in there for a long time. I think it was like 29 years. Is it 29 or 39? I believe it was 29 though. Okay. And they got their name. Because they're originally a blues band. And they wanted to change people's moods with their music. So they became the Moody Blues because they were originally an R&B group. So, yeah, that was my fun fact. Cool. It's a pretty good fact. Elvis. Ah, Neil Diamond. My bad. Honey Drippers. <laughs> Jesus Christ Superstar. Vision Quest. The John Payne Lewis Levin Band. That was a long name. Yeah. Al Cooper. This one's Funk and Soul. woo woo, -woo. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? I can't do the whistling thing. That's that's a girl body. Yeah. Uh, with a boy head. Yeah. That's a boy body with a girl yeah. head. Yeah. Woo woo. <laughs> Pasadena's. It's a white label promo. I swear they look familiar. They do. They do look familiar. I couldn't find any information on them, but that guy's special. Maybe it could have just been the picture. Cause there's been a few bands where they wear leather jackets and I'm, look I'm like that. that they I'm look like, like is greasers. That the guy that wasn't hackers. Maybe. Yeah, it really looks like yeah. it wasn't hackers. And and I'm like, I swear these guys look familiar, but I clicked on all their names and I couldn't find anything. Rufus, Gary's Gang, Patty Austin, Judy Collins, Hail to the Teeth. Hey, I have no dance appointment tomorrow. So yeah, it sounds great. Hail to the Teeth is comedy. <laughs> and then we got a 12-inch single, white label promo, Locks. House music? Nope, it's funk no, and soul. No, it's funk and, funk and disco. Oh, whoops. Disco with burn, no burn, burn baby, baby burn. burn. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. All right. Let's do pull. One. Go. 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 You go. I don't know what I'm picking. I've never done this before. I feel too powerful. I'd pick something good. If I was the camera, what would I pick? Hmm. Hmm. some Poco. Because we have, we have tons of awesome stuff. Like the Pixies. Pixies are pretty cool. Robert Plant. Yeah. Plastic Flowers. The Oh, wait. He picked the Police. Never mind. Yep, Police. We're going to go with this one. Roxanne is not on this one. But it's okay. We're going to go with this one. Ha! 
What you going for? What you doing? Don't know. See, You're making me nervous. It's okay. I picked something that cameraman would definitely approve of. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Up oh, here. Like this. The That's mine. And you pick the police. All right. So. There's no longer an eye on top of the screen. I forget his exact line for this. There's no longer an eye on top of the screen. So you can't click that sucker? Nope. So now you just got to leave us a comment and let us know if you want to vote for... The Arithmics. Or... Mine. Pick this. The Police. Definitely better. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. We're out of here. Off your phone! I think they're coming here. You have to cry kick the door. <laughs> I have to karate kick the door. Good oh luck. wait, that's right. I gotta flip through stuff and wait until I've only got like three seconds left. Oh my gosh. Oh no, oh no. Turkeys. Turkeys set the alarm. Are you gonna grab my purse so I can karate kick the door? This is getting a little gossip. Open the door! <laughs> I can't karate kick the door. I'm too short. <laughs> you karate kick the door. I'm so no, I didn't. You looked at it like, do I got this? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> so now what do they got to do? Now they click that like button because we're awesome and we like thumbs up. And you have to subscribe. You have to turn the phone. <laughs> subscribe! <laughs> subscribe! 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 Ring that bell! Ding ding ding! Should do a VLX a lot. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Are you filming? Yes. How's it look? Very. Thumbnail. Bitches. <laughs>